Philadelphia Eagles are in the thick of the NFC East race with an attack that features the league's leading sacker in Reggie White and the league's leading receiver in rookie Keith Jackson. But their smart plug is Randall Cunningham, whose acrobatic performance last week kept the Eagles within distance of their division's top spot. The New York Giants are still searching for the formula that made them champions two years ago. Beset with injuries and plagued by inconsistency, the Giants lost a key divisional game last week in Phoenix, setting up today's test of character with New York share first place squarely on the line. The Philadelphia Eagles have made the journey up the turnpike and they will face the Giants live from Giants Stadium. The NFC East looks like this. The Giants at seven and four tied with the Cardinals who are losing. Well, he's lucky that Buddy Ryan knows his name because he usually just calls guys by numbers. That's when he first met him. He was 55 and he got to be rocking box. Stacy Robinson was the man on the move. Sims gets it out, almost picked off, and is finally by Joyner. And Joyner could go in. Sims knocked him out of bounds at about the two. And I think you're going to see things on a rainy day like turnovers down here jumping offside. Cunningham. No signal as yet as he ran the quarterback sneak, and apparently he didn't get in. Lawrence Taylor trying to excite the crowd and get them involved in it. At any point, it is awfully close. The end of the ball is almost touching the goal line. Cunningham tries the quarterback sneak again, and this time it's touchdown. The ball crossed the plane. He got in, but barely. Part of the ball was on the goal line. It broke the plane before it was snapped. And I don't think Cunningham got in. And that's what Lawrence Taylor was so excited about. Nevertheless, it's 7 0. Here's Sims back to throw under pressure. But the pass is complete. And about five. Sims gets it to Stacy Robinson, and Robinson is off. We're going to have a tie if they make the extra point. They got the Eagles blitzing their two safety men. Then they'll be in first place all by themselves. Third and four from a 34. Cunningham for Jackson. Got a hand on it incomplete. They'll have to punt. Telschick to punt for Philadelphia. Hunky back deep. And here is... Telchik on the run kicking and not bad. He got a high snap and got off a pretty good kick after no huddle again. Third and six Giants at their own 29. Sims to throw it. Has to come out of there. Gets it to Bavaro. Six for a first down. Sims going to go back to throw it. Whips it side on to Bavaro who gets it. No huddle again. They're in Eagle territory. Morris gets the ball and the carry. And third and six at the Eagle 44. Now things settle down just a little bit. Sims will operate from the spread. Robinson and Baker split wide left. Robinson comes in motion. Outside over the head of Stacy Robinson. New Orleans shutting out Denver. Intended over the right side for Chris Carter. Really been tackling well, but neither one of them had an interception all year. And you need some turnovers from your safety. They need nine for a first down, and Cunningham rifles in the direction of Ron Johnson incomplete. You weigh 295, and you're that quick. All of those things help, don't they? Third down, Sam Sack. Seth Joyner, who got the pass interception earlier, gets to Sim. Philadelphia Eagles 7, the New York Giants 7. Oh, blocked by the Eagles. Buford didn't have a chance in the Eagles. Stayed in the middle. Cunningham is sacked. Cunningham is only one out of five for three yards. Back out of the spread formation this time and out of the 
pocket. Pressured by George Martin, and down he goes. Hit by Eric Howard. And Taylor tackled Howard. And the Lakers, of course, are again atop the Pacific Division and planning on repeating. And next Saturday, prime time, 8.30 Eastern. Same time of the spread. The push is by White up the middle. The chase is by Mike Pitts. First and ten, except you don't do that anymore. Well, I eat turkeys. Here's Cunningham out of the pocket for Byers, incomplete. Although he might have come up with one remarkable catch covered by Pepper Johnson. Added it in, got it with one hand. I tell you how he could even see that thing is amazing. How he amazing. could see around Pepper Johnson. He got that right hand up, tipped it, brought it back in, and kept both feet in bound. Haddix. Looks much more intense than they did a week ago. Second and seven, Byers left side, hit behind the line of scrimmage by reason. Eagles at the Giant 38. Eric Howard is the man in the middle of that Giant defense looking right in the face of Dave Remington. Cunningham to Ron Johnson, and that should be enough for a first down. Third down. Keith Jackson, the tight end, this time in the slot to the right. Here comes the Giant blitz. Intended for Chris Carter, incomplete, no flag. With Telchik holding. They do a lot of tricks. Zendejas is good. Sims operates out of the spread formation. Outside, Stacy Robinson. The only thing is, Joe Morris never did get out there. Second and nine. Sam hit momentarily. Goes deep for Adam. Incomplete. And it never is the other way. Just takes injuries long. Everything seems long. You know what I mean? Third and nine. Eagle showing blitz. Robinson comes in motion. Sims up into the pocket. Has Lionel Manuel. And that should be enough as he slides. Second and 12. Manuel on the move. Darrell Sims up the middle to Manuel. He could go. Manuel corralled at about the 10, maybe the 11. Wes Hopkins and Andre Waters. Now he doesn't have Moa. Manuel goes right, Baker left. Bavaro is the tight end to the right side. Eagles lead by three. Closing second to the first half. Here's Lawrence. Inside the five to about the four. Since he took over the kicking chores for the Giants, Hostetler will be the holder. Field goal good. That's the end of the first half with the score. The Philadelphia Eagles 10, the Giants 10. Second down at 10, the Eagles have the ball at their own 34. Opening moments of the third quarter, busted play. And Cunningham tried to hand it to someone. Third and 11, this time Banks is in the middle, and Taylor is coming from that right side. Pass up the middle, complete to Jackson, and the Eagles will have a first down. That good count on third down. In fact, Cunningham's up under the center now. No more shotgun. Cunningham under pressure, and down he goes for George Martin and Lawrence Taylor. Three-man line would give you. Look at all those guys packed in the middle on defense. Sims to throw it. Gets it outside. And Morris. This is Adams and Carthon now behind Phil Sims. Back to throw it. Wins it up to Baker. Adams is the lone setback. He gets the handoff and is hit by Brown again. That'll make a good pass rusher out of you. Here's Sim. Upfield he gets to Manuel and Manuel gets the first down. Sims is coming out of there with some room on the 11 first down. And out of bounds at about the 10. They can make the first down without scoring. Sims, touchdown to Baker.
out just throwing one into the end zone. People really don't realize how difficult that is in this league to get two drives in a game of that length. Maddox, the ball carrier, hit behind the line of scrimmage. Leonard Marshall. Sims, Damaris Carthon. Carthon sheds a couple of tacklers and gets into Eagle territory. Second and ten. Reggie White coming up the middle almost got the sim. And Jeff Hostetler has taken Phil Sims' place. Sims 17 out of 28. Two touchdowns, and now it's Hostetler out of the sprint formation. Third down and 10, 47. Hostetler of the Pacific Division and planning on repeating. That's prime time here on CBS. Eagles with Cunningham. Got a man, got a man. Open is Ron Johnson, and he is out of bounds finally by Perry Williams inside the giant 30. Taylor's lined up 15 times on that side, the offensive left, four times in the middle, and nine times over in the right. So he goes where they think they're going to run. Second and nine, and Cunningham is going to take off. Loses the football. He faced Pepper Johnson, and it looks like the Eagles did get it back. Third and 17. Jackson will be in the slot right this time. Ball's at the 41. Here's Cunningham out of the pocket. Oh. Intended for Keith Jackson incomplete, and they'll have to punt. And you can just see that someone, the doctor, touched his side or looked like he was just taking a step, and his whole side went uh, bad on him. High stepper. Outside Baker, complete. So that's the end of the third quarter with the score of the Giants 17, the Eagles 10. And we now pause for a word from your local station. I wouldn't expect Phil Sims to be back in. Jeff Hostetler, the quarterback. Emmanuel in motion. Hostetler back to throw. Fires out complete to Baker. Baker. I think what the Giants have to try and do is get another score in the board. Hostetler steps up into the pocket. Gets it to Bavaro. Baker and Manuel both split wide to the right. Hostetler gives to Joe Morris. Morris. You want to hold the block to kill them and let the ball come to you. Manuel goes in motion quickly. Hostetler back to throw under pressure. And down he goes, sacked by Mike Pitts. Third down now. They need long, long yardage, about 20. Ball back at the Giant 48. Robinson split wide to the left. Here comes Hostetler. Out of the pocket. Pass picked off by Terry Hogue. And the Eagles will take over at their own 36. Hogue. For five yards all day, and that's had no effect on this game. Lawrence Taylor lined up this time on the left side. To Byers. So that made the left tackle eligible, which is an illegal formation. Here's Cunningham. Flushed out of the pocket. Chased by Martin. Pass incomplete get anything going here we could see Sims again third and 13 at midfield Cunningham up and he's going to take off Dives for the first down clutch game for both teams the Giants can take the lead in the NFC East outright or the Eagles could tie them he's on injured reserve and out for at least four weeks Third down and seven at the 32. Here comes the giant blitz. Cunningham gets rid of it in the direction of Carter. It's picked off by Kennard. Flag on the play back at the line of scrimmage. A penalty marker down. Carter tripped up Kennard. You wait for the run and say, where'd that guy come from? Adams is back there with Hostetler. Take the handoff to Adams, Hostetler kept it, and he doesn't get enough. With New Orleans, maybe just a level down. Very close. Cunningham back to throw it. And now comes out of the pocket, chased by Taylor. Yes. I think the Eagle defense was tired, and I think they've let him off the hook, and I can feel momentum changing. Third and four. 
Cunningham is going to come out again, and he's going to get it up in more than a first down. Cunningham down to about the giant 20. Tight games and big games, and great players play, play great in tight games and big games. Third and seven at the 18. The Eagles, if they don't make it, will have to settle for a field goal, I'm sure. Cunningham. The middle to Jackson. Fumble. The official says Carter got it for a touchdown for Philadelphia. Chris Carter, after Jackson fumbled at about the two, the ball rolled into the end zone, and Carter came up with it. Raiders having a tough time scoring touchdowns. Right here at 17-17 between the Eagles and the Giants. Jeff Hostetler, the quarterback, fired. Got handled. Stopped by Eric Allen. First and ten Giants at their own 49. Lock running in three and a half minutes. This is Joe Morris behind the line of scrimmage by Jerome Brown. He just barely got the ball. Manual in motion. Hostetler dumps it out to Morris. He gets across. Third down and eight. 49, Hostetler goes out of the spread formation this time. Robinson was the man. And most here comes the blitz on Hostetler. Pass incomplete intended for Stacy Robinson. Those kind of bounces. And this interesting fact, uh, Cunningham gets a ball with two minutes left to go in the game, 208. And he said this is the part of the game he loves the most. He rolls out of the pocket, chased by Taylor, comes out of there, fires to Jackson, who makes the catch. All you need is a little push at the end, and he'll get around it. And eventually, you get a chance to get even. Here's Cunningham back in the pocket, setting. Now, fires it. Now they're going to say he was in the grasp. I think so. I think the referee blew the whistle before he ever threw the ball. Third and 28. Eagle ball at their own 25. Tie score, 17 apiece. Cunningham with time for Carter. Incomplete. Harry Williams step for step. The Eagles will have to kick it. Giants ball at their own 45-yard line. Bart Oates looking around and checking blocking. Out of the shotgun is Hostetler. Fires quickly to Stacy Robinson. And 60 minutes will follow at the conclusion of the game. Hostetler. Looking deep for Manuel, incomplete. Third and five at midfield. Need a first down here, they're going to have to punt. Here's Hostetler. And he gets just past midfield, a gain of one. Just like starting a new game. 17-17, and we head for overtime. That's not the way it works out. George Martin out. Let's see who won the toss. That's amazing. That really surprised me, that statistic. First time I saw it. Yeah. Parcells, you saw a minute ago, perhaps, saying, Philadelphia wins a toss well, and will receive. The four, good set of guns on them. Third down, Cunningham. <laughs> the Byers and Byers oh gets to midfield and more. Are now at the giant 41. Cunningham chase fires out of bounds, incomplete. He's going to throw it to Keith Jackson. Jackson is in the slot to the right. The Giants have got a lot of people up there on the line of scrimmage. Cunningham is just going and telling every player what to do. They're coming after him. Incomplete. He's lined up to Hostetler's right. Settler fires incomplete, intended for Bavaro. Cranberry sauce and all that stuff, I think. Thank goodness we'll be able to enjoy them. I never want to miss one. Hostetler yeah, yeah, oh. to Terry Hogan intercepted. That's his second one. It was intended for Baker, but Hogue comes up with his second interception off Hostetler. Back to throw it. Pressure's on him. He gets it to Haddix. Haddix down to the Giants. First.
first and ten. Eagles at the giant 30. Cunningham back. Going to come out of there with it and get him closer. And slides at the 15. From 32 yards away, 31 make it now. You sure you're ready? The Eagles pick it up. Touchdown. Sheldon White blocked it. The Eagles picked it up after the block and get it into the end zone. What a what an ending. Parcells is saying he can't advance it. This may not be over. Yeah, but the thing is, it's not fourth down. If it were fourth down, he can't advance it. In the last two minutes of the game, or on fourth down, then they can't advance it. And Parcells may be right. I think he is right. That wasn't a fumble, it was just a block kick. Parcells pleaded his case. And let's see what happens. Tom Dooley, the referee. George Martin is way back by the tunnel talking we to some officials. the ball recovered in the backfield and advanced for a touchdown. Ball recovered in the backfield and advanced for a touchdown. And Bill Parcells can't believe it. Well, let's see where it was. It came from the outside. Sheldon White is the man who blocked it. It was picked up in the backfield. Jerome Brown, no. Clyde Simmons. It's a Philadelphia victory, 23-17 in overtime. A bizarre ending.